I understand that it can be very frustrating when your family just wants to eat dinner every single night. I agree that I don't really know what's up with that. When you're running all over the place and you wanna not think about it that much and you don't wanna turn on your oven to heat up your entire house, to save the day, of course we have the good old crock pot. Although technically it's a slow cooker because crock pot's the brand, like this one actually is a Hamilton Beach. I have my Hamilton Beach ready to go, but then people wouldn't know what you're saying. So crock pot it is. Today I am bringing you a budget friendly family dinner in a crock pot. Now, you can't go much cheaper than a pack of bone-in family-sized chicken. This one ended up being 99 cents a pound, and I've even seen it cheaper than that, but I have bone-in chicken breasts here. What I love about the crock pot is that you can cook very inexpensive cuts of meat like this, and it makes them really tender. I much prefer a bone-in piece of chicken than a boneless piece of chicken when it comes to this kitchen appliance. And you also can't go much cheaper than a potato. We're uh, spicing it up a little bit by using sweet potatoes. If you're not into sweet potatoes, you can of course use regular ones, but today we are making Peruvian spicy chicken and sweet potatoes. So I have two quite large sweet potatoes. It's about a pound and a half. We're just gonna peel these, dice them into cubes. Now the instructions in my recipe, which I got from America's Test Kitchen, slow cooker cookbook, is to uh, cook these in the microwave for like 10 minutes with some salt and pepper and oil. I'm assuming it's so you can get dinner on the table a little bit quicker. You know what? We're just gonna follow the instructions and see how it goes. So once I peel these and dice these, they're going to go into the microwave. My sweet potatoes with oil, salt, and pepper is covered in the microwave, and this is supposed to cook for 10 minutes. Boom. So while the microwave is going, I will just tell you that I'm doing today's Crock-Pot video in collaboration with everyone doing the Crocktober Crock-Pot meals. So if you want basically 31 days of Crock-Pot inspiration for dinner, desserts, Halloween, holidays. I will leave the full playlist down below for you to check out. There are all kinds of things that you can try. And of course, I will leave today's recipe down below as well. And I got today's recipe from my thrift store find, the complete slow cooker from America's Test Kitchen. I am having a very good time looking in here. There are some delicious looking recipes and I will definitely be bringing you some more of these slow cooker recipes coming up. So if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe think about it. Just do it, just do it. have this spice, oil, salt, pepper, jalapeno mixture that I am putting on my four chicken breasts. I'm gonna uh, rub all this on. I did take the skins off of the chicken breasts, but these are bone in. They will cook better in a crock pot than the bone off. I find the other ones get kind of crumbly or whatever. This mixture just has it, the recipe said habanero, but I already had jalapenos for my garden, so I went ahead and did that instead. But it's jalapeno, garlic, lime zest, lime juice, paprika, cumin, oregano, salt, and pepper. And then you're supposed to microwave it for just a little bit, which I did, which is why I'm not touching it. Well, and also because there's jalapeno on here and I don't want to burn my fingers. So I'm just kind of spreading this on here. My sweet potatoes are done from the microwave, so now it is time to build everything in the crock pot. And I gotta tell you, the amount of like fresh ingredients and spices in this, I'm actually very, very excited <laughs> to eat it. It looks amazing. 
in my crock pot. It's time to put everything. Here are my sweet potatoes that were microwaved and it is hot, holy moly. And on top of that goes all of our chicken. And I'm gonna try and put them in in such a way that they are not on top of each other, but these are the hugest chicken breasts ever. <laughs> holy cow. Or holy chicken in this case. There we go. I mean, they're kind of overlapping, but oh well. I think this is a six quart crock pot. So as you can see, this is a ton. Lid on, cook on high for three hours. I'll see you then. Oh, it's beautiful. It definitely feels like it's cooked all the way through. I have this nice sauce, my potatoes in the bottom. So let's plate some of this and make a delicious sauce to go on top of it. To make our sauce, I have a half a cup of mayo right here, about a teaspoon of sugar, some more lime zest, and the juice of approximately half a lime. And we'll kind of mix that together. I feel like a whisk would make more sense. <laughs> I think we're gonna go with the juice of an entire lime, some salt and pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Mix one more time. There we go. And we can drizzle our sauce on the chicken and potatoes. Here we go. This is a huge amount of chicken. <laughs> Absolutely enormous. And I don't know why I have not thought about cooking sweet potatoes in my crock pot more often, but I really should. Those are delicious. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Because this chicken is so big, I think if you added a salad and like a roll, each chicken breast could feed at least two people, if not three people. And then you could definitely feed six to eight people with this meal. The cost breakdown for the meal as it sits is here a pretty budget-friendly meal. It's just chicken and potatoes, but it's a little fancy because of the things that we added. If you want more Crock-Pot inspo, I'll leave the full playlist down below for Crocktober. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in the next video.